Good evening once again and welcome back to Lawrence Plays Factorio Angel Bobs. So let's see, um, as I, 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 I seem to start off every single episode with um and what was I doing before and what should I do now and that sort of thing. Uh, but I'll get, so, yeah, I'll, um, I'll get started fairly soon. So let's see, last, last time we built up this construction vehicle here which is currently, um, if I look on the map view, is currently complaining that it doesn't have enough repair packs to fit to uh, repair my car. So let's, uh, let's give it one of those. That's not what I meant to do at all. Let's give it some of this stuff back. I can't remember what else it was, I was holding. There we go. There's one. There's the um, the car getting repaired over there. That's that's handy. Oh dear. What else did I have in that car? Yeah, I can't remember. So I'm going to start off by nipping down and finishing off that mine down at the bottom, which I hadn't quite polished off earlier. I've got the um, the train parts for it. I've got the railway uh, railway lines, and I've got the electric poles. So I should be able to go down and just hook all of that up now. Then I'm going to finally start thinking about um, thinking about uh, plastics and uh, petrochem. So that's going to be fun. I may just sort of cut quite a lot of it out while I'm thinking about that because it is going to take me a while to get it all up and to do all of the thinking that's required in order to work out how to do it. So if it gets really tedious of me just following chains of components back and forth through FNEI then I probably won't inflict that all on you because I don't think you deserve it. At least you're, uh, you're watching these episodes, yeah, I don't think I should make you suffer, suffer through having to um, watch me just scratching my head and staring at lists of components trying to decide what to do in what order. Uh, down there. Yes, good, I did get some more of these. So those go there and okay, I need to finish off wiring up down here as well. There we go, one nice neat grid. Oh, I know, take it back, haven't done the bottom part. Right, perfect. All happily mining away there. Now, okay, the ones at the front are, um, are uh, backed up and the ones at the back are running running happily. So that's as expected. Now let's drop in a train here like that and like that. Have I got, have I got any fuel for these? No, I actually don't have anything combustible at all. Oh, I can nick some of the, some of the fuel out of the car. Yeah, there's loads in there. Probably. No, that's wrong. That should be Sapphire Pickup 4. You should go from Pickup 4 and full, drop and empty. Okay, simple as that. I oh, know, not quite as simple as that. I do need to finish that bit off as well. There, probably a little bit brave of me not to um, at least watch that run to make sure it's working properly, but, you know, it's um, just setting up a train. I think I should be able to get that right by now. Okay, let's have a think about oil, or rather, let's think about plastic, because that's going to be the, the end component I want, I think, the most important one. Because for this, I'm, well, actually, I'm going to need sulphur as well. That comes from stuff. A oh, coal, actually, that's not too bad. I can make that from coal. But also the electronic circuit board is going to require transistors, and these circuit boards require co uh, wood. Okay, um, resin I think comes from wood. Transistors do. Uh, since transistors require plastic, we've got silicon, so hopefully that's going to be that's going to be an adventure as well. Uh, but plastic is definitely going to be something I need. And as we see, that comes from liquid plastic. Okay, so there are a number of different recipes. There are lots of different ways to make plastic. I could make it from basically from wood and these acids, or from Propene. This is where it all gets very confusing because I have no idea where any of these come from. I haven't even got plastic te technology researched. I better do that. So let's get let's start getting let's start getting the research done for in order to get plastic. Because yeah, obviously without without the research I can't do I can't I just can't. But let's have a bit of a think about this as well. So propene gas comes from methanol and steam. Well steam is easy enough. Where does methanol come from? Methane, synthesis gas, and carbon dioxide. Or cellulose fiber. Now that comes from wood, and I do have a lot of. I have, in fact, I have basically unlimited wood because I'm using um, Bob's greenhouses. I'm slightly loath to use that for my main plastic production, though, because as I gather, it's considered to be not necessarily cheating, but it is a bit. It spoil, apparently spoils the rest of the thing. So at some point, I should probably replace that with. I don't know. I think it's algae processing. Um, so maybe not that one for now. Maybe methane is the one to go for. Coal, nether, and steam. Or na ah, natural gas liquids. I think that's probably where I want to go. It comes from raw gas. That right, okay. Right, so natural gas turns into raw gas, turns into natural gas liquids, turns into methane, ethane, butane. Methane turns into methanol, I think. Methanol turns into propene, and propene turns into liquid plastic. That seems horrific, but manageable. So let's carry on working towards plastic for now, shall we? I'm going to need that one, and I'll do that. So my plan is to build that, build up all my plastic, uh, my gas processing facilities down here. So if I bring a train in, perhaps here on the left-hand side of it, I can then have a, a string of various processing facilities running over here towards the rubite mine. Hopefully, it'll fit in there, and I won't need to <laughs> run over the rubite mine and, um, and move it or anything, because that would be a bit of a pain. But that is, I suppose, the alternative is to do it over here. 
but then I'll run it. I'll definitely run into these sapphire mines because that's that's which is about the same amount of space. Or up here, or up here. Oh, I don't. It's difficult. I mean, ideally, I'd go off and do it over here or something. But there's that would that would mean clearing out enormous quantities of biters, and so obviously that's not particularly practical. There's a cross here, I suppose. There's a, there's a lot of trees there, but I've got at least a little bit of robots now, so I can clear those a bit more easily. Um, there's a road going through the middle of that. I, I don't know. Is that better? Maybe it is. It's less distance to transport the natural gas since that comes from up here. Oh, and, and here. It's a very short distance for it from there, especially if I start at this end and go backwards. Hmm, I don't know. Or maybe the answer is to start over here, right, right next to the Rubite. Um, station and then work back this way because then I can fill this I can landfill this area over here that's not a bad idea actually yeah let's let's do it that way and there's a massive natural gas patch out here as well so that's probably going to I'm probably going to want to pick that area up fairly soon these bases don't look too difficult I reckon I can make push the wall out this way and and, and pick up that natural gas as well okay my mind's made up I'm gonna come down come down here fisting fisting from from this end going backwards to the left granted there's gonna be these Cliff, cliff edges here, but uh, the, nowhere is perfect. So actually, the first thing to do is going to be to start digging up the uh, the natural gas. I think. So how do I make a, a um, uh, what do they even call them? Um, natural gas diggy uppy. So, uh, there we go. Pump jack. That's the word. I assume that's going to be the right thing for a natural gas. Oh, it doesn't tell me. Let's make let's make a couple of pump jacks and then go and make sure they fit. Uh, where was the easy to get up gas? It's one up there. One up there. Head up north. Oop, not this way. This is what I made the roads for. Okay, here we go. One gas field. Good, it is pump jacks. Right, okay. I had enough resources to make a few more of those. So let's 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 just do it by hand for now. Five. Okay, five is enough. And then what I'm going to do from here is run it over to some tanks over here and then have another station on this side. So trains can come well okay, so trains will come in here and then go back out on this this line in the same way. Storage tank, twenty-five thousand, five thousand. Oops. One of each of these and find out what the difference is between them. I'm also gonna need some pumps uh, to load and un to load and unload the trains. I can produce that whenever though, that's easy enough. Yeah, not quite one pylon's worth. Oh I see, this one's got connectors on all four corners. That explains why it said tank all corners. I have to admit I did suspect. <laughs> Put those in like that. Pipe along the back of there and then I'll just run out of underground pipes. Helpful. There we go. And now these will fill up happily and uh, I can then worry about putting a... Oh hang on. I've just realised there's a 50% fi chance I've got that wrong. Um, in fact I haven't even thought about making sure my train fits into it. So about, probably about here. Oh maybe not. There we go. If the train's coming along here I can I, make, can I make pumps? I think I picked up quite a lot. Yes, well, I'll make one. Okay, that's not really enough, but it'll do for a start. So that will go, for example, there, and then we need a train stop there. So we then need the tanks on the back of that, like so. There. So when I put the other pump in, the um, the train will be loaded directly from the tanks, and that means you get maximum flow rate through it. You can link a train to a tank with um, pipes and then a pump on the end of the pipes, but it will slow it down enormously because you can't, you don't have as much flu uh, throughput in a pipe as you do in a pump. So you want to have the uh, the trains being loaded directly. Right, let's head back to base and collect some more supplies for building up some more tanks because I want I want a bit more space there. And also, I need to set it to building. Um, I need to set it building tanker cars so I can carry the uh, the oil down. Sorry, the gas down to the. Um, Gradual upgrade. So, uh, as I run all the part, run over all of the um, old power poles in the base, we'll gradually upgrade them to new ones. There's no one nice way through here. Why haven't I built more roads through my base? What on earth? Oh, power pole again. So we get over here somewhere to where all the train stuff is, and then nip round and hopefully add in something that will build up my um, tanker cars, fluid wagons. I think it calls them. Those ones. Gears, pipes, storage tank, and plate and steel rather. Okay, and storage tank takes iron and steel. I oh, know I've got the newer ones, that's alright. So we put that there, and it'll be able to make the iron and the steel. This is all a bit too cramped, if I'm being honest. I feel like I should just move off somewhere else and upgrade the whole thing. Sure, let's just make some storage tanks here. No, not that one. Well, that's quite nice, it's 125k capacity. But not what I need it right now. Faster. Okay, and to make the other bits, the, um, the actual fluid wagons, I need gears and pipes as well as the storage tanks and the stuff. Pipes are down here, also gears, but that's not... Oh no, actually that is okay. Yeah, no, it's not really okay. 
gonna break that car thing. Uh, never mind. Let's put that there, and then that there. There we go. <laughs> Oh, that feels dirty. I guess I'll just have to use another one to make the gears. Finally, output to a box. Just one. One stack will be plenty. <laughs> yeah, these seem to stack up to ten. That's more than enough. Okay, so that's... Well, I'm a little bit proud of that spaghetti, if I'm being honest. I have my, I do feel like I managed to cram an extra thing into a rather full space, or into what was already a rather full space. But still, it's a bit gross. <laughs> okay, let's check at what other sciences I need for everything else I was trying to do. So... Make liquid plastic from propane gas, which I make from no, was, was it methanol? No, it wasn't methanol, was it? Apparently, it was methanol, and that requires this technology. So let's start researching that. Oh, that was quick, and let's look some of them as well. Right, what else do I need up there to finish this this station off? I've got the train parts because I've got yeah, I've got two locomotives. I've got more than two locomotives left. Oh, I need another pump, and pumps mean engines, I believe. Oh, 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 fine, I'll take that many. Right, let's head back up north again and see if I can manage to not get lost this time. I think I've got... No, I've, well, I'm not lost, but I haven't exactly gone the best way. Let's take out some of this um, wall. Don't need defensive walls in the middle of the base. There we go. Another way out. I can never have too many emergency exits. All right, so that research is finished. Plastic, plastic propane, methanol, methane, natural gas liquids, raw gas, natural gas, gas well. Hooray, got everything. Okay, so another pump. And then we have our train, like so. There we go, that'll fill up nicely. And then we'll put in a f few more tanks as well, just because I don't want to risk running it. I don't want I don't want the train to get up here and for the for it not to be for there not to be space. Now that takes twenty five thousand. These are from okay, that was in fact that is spectacular overkill, but uh, never mind. Oh I didn't pick up any more fuel. <laughs> I'm gonna have to steal some more from the car and hope and it sh should be enough for it to get to wherever it needs to go. Right, I can't do very much with this train for now, um, so let's just colour it in, like, gas colour? That's about right, I think. And make the station the same colour, just because. Okay, so I can't, as I say, I can't do much with it yet, because I haven't got an, another station for it to um, deliver to. I'll go down this way if I'm prepared to blast my way through this, or go around there. Okay, let's go around this way. Oh, I remember another thing I was going to do. I was going to set it so I could get a lot more landfill in, in the box before it stopped building it. Because at the moment, at the moment, I've got oodles and oodles of stone to play with. Because it's basically it's an off, it's a, a waste product from all of my um, mineral refining, and a large quantity of landfill will let me fill that lake in, which means a lot more space available for everything I want to do, like building up um, massive gas refineries. I have a horrible feeling I'm going to do a lot of running back and forth along the bottom of here up to the bus to grab a load of resources and then back along there to, to build up whatever chemistry plants and things I need. So I'm going to try and preempt that a little bit by um, stocking up. And this is all going to be very, this is going to be very, very pipe heavy as well. I should go and get some more pipes. In fact, I should go and get the construction vehicle and use that because, you know, that's kind of what it's there for. It's It's got a bigger inventory so it can hold a lot more stuff when I'm trying to trying to build things. And of course it's got the bots, so whenever I want to do Whenever I want to build an, a, something fairly simple and, un, un, and repetitive, I can use it to do that for me automatically. Where, is it? Where did I leave it? Oh, up there. Okay. My problem is I can't tell the difference between the different vehicles on the, on the map view. Okay, yeah, sure, repair that for me. This is somewhat harder to drive than the car is. It's a bit slow and lumbering and, yeah, not particularly manoeuvrable. But, yeah, it's, it's not too bad. Oop. <laughs> close. Right, so I needed more pipes and that's up somewhere. Where on earth is I building pipes? Oh, there we are. Pipes, pipes. I'm not sure that's going to be enough pipes to ground. What's that bot doing? Is it repairing something? Yes, it is. And I'm going to need a lot more of those bots as well. Where are they? These these ones? Yeah, let's make another four. I don't know how many the... Um, how do I look at... Oh, here we go. Good, right. Um, Roboport. 50. Wow. That's a decent number. Okay, then. What do those bots take to build? Engines and iron. That sounds like something we can build. Oh good, it's heavy enough to drive over trees without picking up damage as well, that's rather nice. Okay, can I fit... No, I can't fit that in, that's ridiculous. I don't think I can build bots here. <laughs> Let's build up some bot building somewhere else. Here might do. I don't know how long I'm going to need these for, to be honest. They're fairly fairly simple, and they're very, very slow. So once I think once I get plastics and things, I'm going to move on to better types of bots. But for now, I mean, it's going to be useful to have them. I'm going to want to... I don't know if I'm going to want to do that. It's probably going to want to be 
iron and steel, so let's start putting in some undergrounds as well so I can get the steel out. And I want that to, I want the steel to come out here, which means that goes there, that goes there. From this I'm going to build engines again, because that's oh, I've got quite a lot of engines in my inventory, but I want to build a lot of bots, really. So that's engines. Since they both, since this requires, um, the construction bots require cogs as well, I'm going to feed them both off this one machine. I suspect that's probably going to be more than fast enough. Also, I need to bring this around here, around here. <laughs> um, and I need circuits as well to come in from the other side, so that's going to mean that. And then, of course, I need power over here as well, like that. I could probably squeeze that on one of the, on the existing pylons, but um, no, easier not to. Okay, that seems to be working. Yes, that's that's working. That's building a bot, so that will presumably drop out there in a minute. Right, while that's chugging away, let's have a look at what I need to do all this gas cracking stuff. Plastic is made in assembly machines. Liquid plastic is made in any of the various chemical plants. Am I? Let's see. I've worked this out before. Time to oh, here we go. This is the time to. So this is the time to craft. So smaller is better. So that's the worst. The um, of the tier one things. For chemical plant, no, it's tier plant two, advanced chemical plant, or oh, just just generic chemical plant is the best one to use because that's the um, the lowest number without getting into higher tiers of things. So we've got chemical plant, chemical plant mark two, but also chemical plant, chemical plant two, just to make things more complicated in case they weren't already. Okay, so chemical plants, normal assembly buildings, steam crackers, stone bricks. So I'm going to need to pick up some stone bricks as well as iron and circuit boards and steel. Chemical plant is that one. Okay, nothing too exotic so far. It's the same machines. Gas refinery and gas refinery again, and oil and gas separator. Okay, so all of these basically require stone bricks, iron, steel, and electronics boards. That's okay then. I can get all of that from places like this. I don't know if this is going to be enough, but copper probably isn't quite required. Oh, I can grab the circuit boards from here. And bricks. Oh, let's get them out of the um, big warehouse of, because it's... Is that, is that got, no, it's got walls in it. Because it's too, it's basically it's too bloody awkward to pick them up off these. Oh, maybe it's this one. It's too it's generally too bit too difficult to pick them up off the middle of the bus because I get these clay bricks. I get the coal as well. Oh, I need some more coal because I keep putting, I keep emptying it out of my vehicles into um, into trains in order to power them. I don't know how many bricks is a good number. I think I want. I think it's going to be a lot more than I'm getting from just doing that though. So I'm going. Yeah, I am going to come up here and fill up a bit from the uh, from the big warehouse of them. Which is up here somewhere. And I'm full. Right. Okay, let's get rid of some junk. Uh, I don't need tin for this. Uh, I do need storage tanks. Don't need stone. Do need coal. Don't need wood. To be honest, most of this is useful. I guess I don't need walls or damaged turrets. Yeah, I was supposed to be dumping all of this into the construction vehicle um, in order so that I don't have to carry it all around and I can carry a bit more down there. But uh, somehow I don't seem to have been quite organised enough yet. Definitely going to need more pipes. Just, just generally more. In fact, I'm kind of tempted to run an, a belt of iron and steel down across the bottom of the base just to get over to the other side of that lake, because I'm sure I'm going to run out of those and need a lot more of them. That's getting to be a good number of bots now. Let's only fill that up to one stack there. Okay, let's go and make a. Oh, I still can't tell which is the front and which is the back of this vehicle. Let's go and make a start on that um, facility and see how it goes. You know what else I'm going to need? I'm going to need flare stacks. A lot of flare stacks. <laughs> and probably clarifiers as well. But I think I've got the... Um... Oop, right. I think I've got the components I need in order to, to make those without too much difficulty. At some point I should put stone down along here as a road. But um... Oh, I didn't bring any landfill. Never mind. That's going to be later on anyway once I've got a few steps further down the process. I believe, in theory, you're supposed to be able to recycle quite a lot of the, um, the byproducts of this process. So, yeah, I'm going to make a load of useless types of gas, but hopefully I'll then be able to turn them into useful gases as well. But I guess we'll see about that. Okay, right, first things first. Let's make this into a proper station. A proper railway line, rather. I want that to come out there, and like, like that. What's the... Construction radius on this. Feeble. Um, okay, let's drive it a bit closer to where I'm actually doing stuff. <laughs> uh, so that's the outline for what's going to be for both of the stations. The inline for the 
gas unloading is going to have to be like so. And I'll need another train stop, which I've run out of iron for. Fortunately, I've brought some with me. And steel. Why do I not have any iron or steel? I didn't realise I put it all in this um, in the vehicle. Put it there. Symmetry. Is that symmetry? Yeah, it's the same level as that one. It's nice. Uh, did I bring... Yes, I'm sure I made some pumps on, the... on that. Good. Drive up here now so it can do the next stage of the building. This is slightly easier than doing it by hand. And if I was doing something complicated like Dragon's Teeth, it'd be much, much better. I am a bit annoyed I didn't discover these bots before. I mean, they are slow and crap, but they are much, much also much, much better than doing all of this stuff by hand. <laughs> Still, never mind. So, what was the first step? Gas well produces natural gas, and we're getting raw gas from that. Uh, so, it's natural gas into raw gas is done in an oil and gas separator. Build one of them. Now, I'm not sure how much space to leave for this sort of thing, because if I build a couple of these, as I am, then is there going to be enough capacity for whatever I end up building up to? I don't know, but what, so what I'm going to do, put in those like that. So we'll do this for now, and what I'm planning to do is make a liquid bus above here. So each of these liquids I produce, I'm going to run, essentially run a pipe for it along, all the way along, up above here. And if I do need to expand, then I can always do it above the bus. It's going to be a bit of a mess. Uh, well, I've got a little bit of space down below, but basically I'm going to plan to go above. Yeah, because then I can do that. That goes off to wherever. Right, I feel that's... Yeah, that's that's copy and pasteable now, should I need to. And I've got my first three liquids up here. I don't even know what they are. So what's this? This is gas condensate, raw gas, and sulfuric wastewater. Joy. Um, they sound lovely. Not at all horrible and caustic. What I want to do is have tanks on each of these as well, so that I can have a bit of a buffer on each of them and then dis while I decide what I want to do with them later. I've got some power. For now, let's just sort of blunder through and see what happens next. Raw gas makes natural gas liquids in a gas refinery. Okay, so build up, run up pipes. Let's grab some more pipes. I can't even find it. Oh, there it is. It's very helpful to flash this for me like that. Okay, so again, same idea. Leave a bit of space, put those in. Again, run them off a pipe like that. And that's to come from here. This one, so I'm going to go up to here, like that. Boop, now I've got the natural gas in there, and that can now do the raw gas refining. And now this produces three more liquids, so I now need to deal with each of those. And these, are, of course, are all completely different to these ones, so they need to go further up. If my pipe's long enough, yes, that's, yeah, that's the right place. Oh, wait, <laughs> that one, like that, otherwise it won't fit. That's too far, right. Okay, so that's the second step. So I've got my natural gas liquids now coming out here, and that turns into... So that's, so I now find a gas refinery again and turn them into methane, ethane, butane. What am I missing for gas refineries? Because I've stone bricks. Okay, let's get some more stone bricks. So far, this hasn't been exactly difficult, but I suspect it's going to be, it's not, it's going to get sort of headache inducing and more complicated as I try and work out what to do with all the, all the byproducts from all of this. But at the moment, it's not too bad. I know that's probably famous last words and I spoke to speak too soon and all that sort of thing, but you know. I'm not going to say how hard can it be, that's why, <laughs> because I probably I probably will find out fairly soon, but so far, vaguely manageable. And what are you doing? Oh yeah, you're doing fractioning. And then again, three more outputs to deal with, so that's um, there, there, no, a bit too, more, too far out, okay, how far will that reach? Not far enough. Did I bring more underground pipes? Yes, I did. So far, I'm quite pleased with my foresight, I've um, actually got enough of so far, anyway, got enough of all the components, but I am getting through them pretty quickly, so I'm not, I have to admit, I'm not really expecting that to last. Next step, that was, so taking the methane and adding steam. I'm glad I've got, I'm glad I've got the water nearby now. <laughs> that's another liquid that I'll probably put on the bus, actually, for this bit. And that's done in a steam cracker. So I think I need, I think there's, and let's make an offshore pump as well. Where's the best place for that? Hate to admit it, probably way off to the north. <laughs> Okay, so down here, run up pipes again. Or maybe actually up here. I think that might be slightly closer. Should we put water at the bottom of the bus? I think it might as well. So that means about here, this sort of level. I may find at some point in the future I need to put some pumps in this to uh, to keep the water flowing quickly enough because there's quite a lot of distance of pipe to cover and liquids aren't great at that sort of thing, as far as I'm aware. Right, uh, those, now it was the steam crackers, wasn't it? So I'll just go about 
Oh, and no, I need steam, not just. So I need to have some boilers in here as well. So at some point, I need to put get what? Um, I need to take the steam and take the water and get steam onto the bus. Was it methane? I think it's pretty sure it was methane cracking. I'm doing. Yes, methane, methane cracking to methanol and residuals, and that needs steam. So I'm going to need boilers here, which is, well, I've got the water for the boilers, but I don't have any fuel at the moment. I mean, you'd, you'd think with it being, this being a gas processing plant, I'd have a million different ways to make fuel here, but, um, oh, there's coal down here, that'll do. So let's see, if we do a, that, and then, no, that, like that, then I can say output priority to the left, and I want it to just output coal. This seems to be the best way to just, to, take just one resource off a belt like this because if I put the if I put the splitter on this one if I put the filter on this splitter then I'd only end up then I'd end up with no coal going further on along the um the belt for all the ammunition and so forth. Okay so we need boilers up here. What do I have in the way of boilers at the moment? Okay we've got boiler mark one, boiler mark two. Uh sure let's have a couple of boiler mark twos. Right so I now have a supply of coal and a small amount of ammunition. Keep the power going along here like that. <laughs> there we go. So now we have steam as well. So I put that on the bus. Two boilers might be overkill for this. I don't know, but we'll uh, we'll see. Right now here we have um, another input. So that's steam on one side and methane on the other. This one's the methane, and I'm out of basically out of underground belts. Okay, I don't really want to st underground pipes even. I don't really want to start making. Okay, I can. Um, but they that will use up all of my pipes and all of my iron. So no, let's. You haven't got any more of you. No. Okay, I'm going to nip back to the main base now, have a restock. I think this is going okay so far. I feel like I'm, um, nothing's not too complicated yet. And I'm just building up, a sort of steadily building, working my way along the recipe. I've got an awful lot of um, byproducts being produced. And um, I'm gonna, I'm, whether I, what I'm going to do with those, whether I'm just going to vent and dump them, or whether I'm going to actually do something useful with them, I... I don't know. I mean, eventually the goal, of course, is to use everything and keep everything perfectly balanced, as all things should be. But I can't honestly, I honestly can't see that happening. It's not going to... Um, I would like... To, why is there no coal coming through here? Oh, right, okay. It's this bit where I've, um, I need to fill in these um, these undergrounds. Oh, don't bother with that. It's not worth it. Right, let's repair this one here. Yeah, so I built a railway line through here. I forgot to finish up the um, the belts on my way through, so uh, to patch the holes in it, but never mind. There we go. Ah, uh, the pretty pattern of putting a, um, a faster belt in the middle of some slower belts. So what I need for this is I need lots more underground belts. They're just all being built up at the top. So I'll um, I'll drive up and get those. And I'm going to set out to make a lot more of them because the way I'm getting through them is absolutely ridiculous. I want to pick up a load of those storage tanks I was making where um, at the same place as I'm making the uh, the train, the fluid wagons, I think they're called. Oh, which is down... What's this? No, it's making bots. Oh, I did squeeze it in here. There we go. So yeah, well, all of those... And then I want massive quantities of underground pipes as well. Then, and I want you to make like three times as many, probably, and probably slightly more pipes as well. Let's take all those pipes. How am I doing for other supplies? Got loads of copper. Got a bit of iron. Got a bit of steel. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up some more iron and more. St oh, well, let's get some more bricks as well because I've been getting through those surprisingly quickly. I mean, yeah, I've got quite a lot left, but I don't want to run out. In fact, if I take enough, then I can um, I can build that road along the bottom that I wanted as well. So, oh, bot's been repairing the uh, the miners. Fair enough. Let's build some more repair packs, actually, because now I've got bots doing all the repairing for me. I can, I suspect I'm going to get through them a bit faster because the bots are going to repair a bit more, a bit more frequently than I do. Because so I, I, I have a tendency to see something damaged and go, ah, never mind, it'll, it'll cope. Whereas the, um, the bots are a bit more, a bit more proactive about that sort of thing. How many underground pipes did I get? Um, Seventy-one. That's not very many. Okay, let's gather some iron and steel up. Is there a convenient iron and steel belt around here? No. Come on, must, there we go, that one will do. I'll just stand here and eat, eat all of this for a while, and then I can go back and get some more of those pipes, those underground pipes specifically, and then that should be enough to go back and get on with the uh, whatever the next step of the, um, the process is. I think this is generally going pretty well. I feel like I'm making, as I was saying on the way up, I think I'm making good progress with the uh, horrifically complicated Angel's Petrochem stuff. I am aware that it's probably going to start feeling harder sooner or later because because I'm going to start trying to deal with all of the um, the offshoots and things and I'm going to need a load of flare stacks and possibly even clarifiers to get rid of all the gases I'm making. There's a joke there I'm sure. Let's make some flare stacks straight away uh, while I'm here. And oh and some of what there's there's some valves actually that are very very useful. There's these ones, the um, 
yeah, the overflow valves. These are great because they um, allow you to build up to 80% capacity in, in a tank and then just vent any e excess so you don't, you're not worrying about. So you know you'll never have a completely full tank, but you also don't have to worry about not having any in there. So as long as it's getting used up at a reasonable rate, you're not going to vent any of it, it's not going to be wasted. But if it gets too full to the point where it's going to stop you um, using dealing with whatever else you're building, you're trying to make rather, and cause other things to, to stop, then it'll get vented. The thing you have to make sure of is that you don't accidentally vent something that's at the um, that's being deliberately made is at the end is at the end of a at the end of a, uh, a chain, even if you think it might be um, restricting something else, because that way you just end up with enormous quantities of resources being wasted. And I have to admit, I have done that in the past. Right, I was going to build up a um, a road along here to make travel a bit quicker. There we go. That looks like a good size. That said, it's going to get through the resources quite quickly. Never mind. So what resources are full, right? <laughs> okay, got through them a bit quicker than I was expecting. Uh, let's, alright, let's take that down a couple of notches. And I think I drive faster on um, on bricks than I do on sand. Hard to say. I don't really want to do any more. Well, I've got quite a lot of bricks, but no, I still don't really want to do any more than that because I'll just start, I worry I'll just start running out of, um, running out of bricks when I need them for other things. So, tanks. Sure, that one can go there. No, that can't go there. They're kind of difficult to fit in. I can't put that there, because it'll interfere with that one. I could put that there. That's all right. I could put that one there. In fact, I could put that one there, up against there. That. Okay, so that's those three. Water, I probably don't need a tank for, but... Yeah, what the hell, let's put one in anyway, just for... I want to say completeness, but that's not quite right. It'll provide a buffer in case I get... I don't know if that's necessary at all. Anyway, on to here now. So I've put one there, that's easy. Put one there, I guess. That'll work. Fitting in one f on this liquid is going to... This, whatever it is, this is. What is this anyway? Acid gas. Lovely. Um, it's going to be slightly trickier. Let's put it here. There we go. Okay, that's everything up to here. So the next next is these three. One for you, one for you, one for you. Yeah, that'll, that works well enough. Let's have a tank for... Steam as well because again it might be bursty. Now I've got the underground pipes I can carry on building up here and that's this one I think. I know that feels like a bit of a waste of underground pipes I have to admit but and part of the point of doing it like this is it just means the nice thing about underground pipes is they don't link onto anything so there's no even if I put another pipe here for a different gas or liquid or anything the pipes aren't going to join together. So it, it, it feels nice and secure. The corners are slightly dangerous, but in the latest versions of Factorio, there's quite good protection against accidentally um, mixing fluids. In fact, it just it, it won't let you mix fluids. The, the devs have put enormous amounts of work into making sure that you absolutely can't. Um, and having read the blogs, it's people find all kinds of weird edge cases to try and... Yeah, actually literally to try and break it. They've got people who will deliberately try and break break it for them to try to give them something to... Um, to fix to, in order to make the uh, the game as, as good as it possibly can be, really. No, not like that either. Like that. So, for example, if I tried to put this here, it just won't let me. And you have, yeah, from what I gather, you have to try extremely hard to to, to break to break that and to mix your fluids. Um, and even and if you ma somehow manage to do that, you you need to you need to tell them exactly how you did it because they'll want to release a patch as quickly as they possibly can. <laughs> Okay, let's get rid of those trees there because I don't want tree. I don't want the trees in the way. Now I've got my bots. I can just do that. Ooh. Oh crap! No, stop getting caught on the belt. There we go. Excuse me. Get the construction plan there. Get rid of all those trees. There we go. This is one of the things bots are good for. <laughs> Collecting wood for you. No, I mean uh, demolishing trees. Okay, where am I? Uh, I've got residual gas. I've got methanol gas. Methanol gas and steam turns into propane gas. Okay, easy enough. Uh, propane, yes, that sounds like the one. I could just link this, yeah, so I could bring that straight across here. In fact, why not? Let's do that. Rather than, I mean, I am. it is on the bus as well. So if, if I do need it later for something else, then I've got it. But it seems a bit silly not to use, take advantage of that when it's there. Okay, and we also need steam, like so. And yeah, okay, we need power to deal with that. I'll, I don't think I don't seem to need a big pile on every single one, so I'll probably put 
yeah, if I put that there, it'll power this and water the next one is. <laughs> All those trees are gone already, that's fantastic. Again, bring the stuff out. Is that the same residual gas as that? It is. Okay, so I can just link that onto the same pipe up, up above. That's one less thing I have to worry about sorting. Uh, this is something completely different, of course. So that comes up here and to here. This one is the same. So I can do that and that, and they will link up. Now I've not put tanks on these. You need one, you need one. Residual needs one, which I should put there. Okay, how am I doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm anywhere near the end of this chain yet. So that's, ah, oh, that's the propene, which can be turned to liquid plastic in a dooby 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 chemical plant. I think I, <laughs> I'm nearly there, there's only two steps left. And these are small, so getting close together like that. Right, and we're making liquid plastic. There we go. There's one input and one output. Excellent. Just do that then in that case. In fact, given that, I just put that there. There's no need to try and keep the um, the inputs and the outputs separate. Oh, let's do this. Let's be lazy again. Do that. I will take this up north and tank it. I can I put these in the corners. That's neater. Let's do that. Kind of pretty as well, in a sort of <laughs> industrial way. There we go. I guess that, actually the downside of that is it means I can't branch off the other way. It's probably a mistake actually, come to think of it, but never mind, I've done it now and it's not too serious a mistake. Finally, and yes it actually is finally, <laughs> we have a pair of assembly machines, like that, and these ones make plastic from liquid plastic. And again I'm going to make a shortcut for that, pro for that product. <laughs> these then unload with inserters. How quaint and traditional, I hear you say. Like that. And then we have a belt of plastic coming out. And I guess we then need to have another railway station in order to load a train up with plastic to take it back to the base. Because I don't really want to run a belt all the way over there. That seems crazy. So let's see. How tightly can I get this in? Not tight enough. <laughs> well, I suppose I can do that. I mean, that's blocking the area where I'm putting those condensed, whatever those machines are doing. I have no idea. But, yeah, never mind. I can put some more up here if necessary. Okay, that's not taken up quite as much space as I was um, expecting it to, if I'm being honest. Uh, it's. I feel like I've done that reasonably neatly. I will grant you that I haven't made it quite as... Uh, I haven't used up any any of the byproducts and things yet. So it's... So once I start finding out what I'm producing enormous quantities of and try and work out how to use those a bit more efficiently yeah sure it's going to get a lot bigger but you know it's not doing I feel it's not doing too badly at this point <laughs> I panicked a bit then I was worried that those were going to be cliff parts and I wasn't going to be able to get rid of them um, but no those are destructible by myself or by my bots actually train station, train station, train stop there we go, I'm still doing two thing trains aren't I, so yeah, that goes there and then I don't need that part I need to join that onto here though Come on, that's, a, that's pretty awful. Can I do better? Yes, I can do that. That's less awful. <laughs> oh, screw it. Aha! I have to admit, I'm not that used to the um, the new version of Factoria that has all these bits down here. So I hadn't realised there was a deconstruction planner down there, which makes it much, e much, for much easier access than going in and getting it out of the blueprints thing every single time. What I need to do... Actually, what I need to do here is just copy and paste another station. Uh, like this one. And hope it fits. <laughs> that's that's the, the worry here. Uh, that can go. Yeah, that's going to fit. That's all right. There. Uh, yellow is a bit silly to use in there. Never mind. Upgrade them. There we go. Got those. And if I put these in there, then they'll place those. Right. That is now finished. If I summon a train full of gas, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> he says fairly optimistically that it should be able to um, just build everything up um, produce all of the products and eventually produce plastic at the end now it's going to stop relatively quickly it'll work for a little while but it'll stop after not too long because um, it's going to run out of space to store the um, the byproducts so but that that is something I'm I'm aware of and I'm prepared to let happen and then sort of start to sort start to sort it out afterwards, basically, in order to 
yeah, I'm prepared to let it run for a bit and then sort out dealing with the uh, the byproducts. Also found out which one to produce how much, and then when I've had to think about which ones I want to keep, which ones I want to get rid of, which ones I want to try and do something better with. Uh, so now I should be able to summon this train. Uh, name the station for one thing. Gas pickup. Okay, go to gas pickup full, gas drop empty, go. Now there's no refueling station for this one at either end, so that's something I'm going to need to sort out. That's that's easy enough because I've got this coal supply here and here actually. Um, yeah, let's just bring another line up from down here. Whee! Train goes through. Yep, good. I'm not standing on the rubber lines. Uh, that goes like that. Oh, the other end's going to need it as well, isn't it? Oh, that's empty already. That was quick. I forget how quickly, just how quickly pumps can unload a train. I hope that's not going to run out of uh, fuel in the time it's doing that. I think I'm just going to snake this belt through the um, liquid bus. At least I would if I didn't run out of belts. Is there anywhere in there? I did. Good. Having these spares available like this is extremely useful. How's that train doing? Hope here it comes again. That's nice and quick. Right, so that'll pull up there. It's filled up with coal as well. Hopefully, yeah, these machines are running up to about here. These ones are ticking over. And yeah, there's some plastic. Some plastic has made it through. Success! Excellent. The whole thing is the whole thing is working. As I say, the downside is okay, these are good. Yeah, there's the raw resources. That's 1k, 3k. That's filling up quite quickly. I should probably try and work out what to do with gas condensate condensates. Raw gas is what I want. Natural gas liquids is what I want. Acid gas is slowly filling up. What's that? Oh, are these two outputs the same? They are. Okay. Let's get rid of this then. Don't need that. But that means I can put that in there. Um, so that's... Well, I, I wasted a bit of that when I <laughs> picked it up and put it down again. So currently, gas condensates are filling up fastest. Butane... Ethane is a fair amount of that. Methanol... Residual... Oh, residual gas, yeah, quite a bit of that. Propene is one of the ones I want. Liquid plastic is one of the ones I want. Basic system, working nicely. As we see down here, yep, every so often a few bits of um, plastic get spat out. Now, obviously this isn't remotely fast enough. I'm going to need to... I don't know how many times faster I'm going to need to make this, but it's going to be a lot. It seems to be these early machines uh, that are the, um, the bottleneck at the moment. If we look at the... Um, of the lights on them, these these rows seem to be running flat out. Well, maybe not that. These two seem to be running flat out. This one's running quite a lot. Here, not some. Only one of them's really running at all. Here, neither of them are running all the time. And even and again down here, it's running much much slower as well. So I need to have a lot more of the separators and the refineries up this end. Conveniently, those are the ones. That there's room, lots of room to just expand downwards. So that's not so bad. I can probably do that immediately, speed it up a bit, because obviously this isn't enough um, plastic production for, well, for anything at all. I'm not going to be able to build anything with that sort of levels of uh, production. If I park this up here, then I can just go finish those off like that. Yeah, that all looks okay. I do the copy across there. Don't need the um, big poles really, but. I can put it on. Yeah, just right down to the um, railway line there. I uh, don't need these big poles, I said. Get rid of them. Okay, so I need to build three more separators, which I'm out of stone bricks for. Got lots of stone bricks. Can't spell. And oh, I need to build refineries. There's six of these. I'm out of, oh, I'm out of circuit boards now. Okay, I'm going to have to go back to base and pick up some more circuit boards. Um, I've run out, run out of those. I think. I don't think I put any in here. No, I didn't. However, if I dump my pipes in there, then the bots will do a lot of this construction work for me, which is, you know, <laughs> the whole point of the bots. And this is, I mean, okay, these ones are moving very, very slowly, but even so, it's still wonderful. It's still such a relief <laughs> to have them running like this. Just so much easier. And I can get on with important stuff like this while I'm running. I oh, don't need these. Right, that's been... oh, they've missed a bit because I couldn't reach it. It's not an enormous construction coverage area, unfortunately, but it's a lot better than nothing, and it does make this sort of thing a lot easier. And because pipes... pipes are one of those things that's quite fiddly, especially when you just want to copy and paste a load of it. Have I run out of underground pipes? I've run out of underground pipes as well. So definitely need to go back and stock up. 
yeah, these sort of things are things that are just a bit fiddly. I know uh, get quite frustrating to do by hand. So um, having this obedient and helpful machine to do all of that for me is extremely useful. Right, let's get the rest of those bricks and uh, finish off that road along here. Yeah, this is much, much slower than the car, but I think it makes up for it just in sheer utility. And ability to plough through trees as well, actually. That can't be, that, um, <laughs> can't be ignored. Pipes. Drink. Was it basic circuit boards or basic electronics boards that I ran out of? Electronics boards, okay. Let's grab them from here, because I've got lots of the circuit boards, so I don't really want to pick up even more of those. Admittedly, I don't get an enormous number out of here. It doesn't produce them that quickly. At some point, when I actually need it, I shall make a circuit board factory. What was that? I needed refineries, wasn't it? Is it that one? I think it's that one. Looks about right. Make five of them. Okay, now I'm just going to drive all the way back down to the um, uh, the um, the gas processing area. I'll um, yeah, I'll put down the uh, the the, um, the pipes I've just picked up and uh, finish off the um, finish off the piping and the refineries. Have a quick look at the how the productivity seems to be going then uh, and then I'm going to call it an episode because I've been running for about well it's been a bit more than an hour now uh, and I normally aim for about an hour because that seems I seem to I seem to only talk about half the time put it that way um, so an hour of gaming tends to lead to about half an hour episodes which seems to be a good amount of time okay they usually they usually go a little bit long but only a little bit um, and I think so I think that's probably acceptable Especially as it's on YouTube and there's no advert break. Well, there might be advert breaks, I don't know. There shouldn't be. But there's no sort of schedule I have to stick to, so that's fine. Oh, you know what? I could put the um, gas refineries in there as well, and then it'll just build everything for me. And pull up about here. <laughs> there is something slightly amusing about a tiny little bot placing a building that's so many times bigger than it is. But, yeah, well, you know, computer game logic. Okay, so they're all running, they're all running. Three out of five of these are running. Maybe that's because these haven't completed the cycle yet, so there's not quite enough pushed over. Oh, that one's kicked in. I don't know, will this be enough? And I've left just about enough... I think I've left about enough room that I could do something like this. i put this in here. But none of the outputs are going to line up, so that's going to be very fiddly. Or maybe I'd be better off putting it here. Because then the input, there's only because there's only one input, and running up extra output pipes here. That that could work actually. Yeah, there there is I have left enough room for that. Um, entirely deliberately, of course. <coughs> there isn't oh, there isn't room on this side of this one though, so I can't do it here. Mm -hmm. I think the answer is probably just to extend up this way because there's there's crazy amounts of room here. I can go as far as I need to just to get the get the resources coming out been produced quickly enough and get, get basically to get the ratios correct okay those are now caught up that's interesting so the yellow the yellow lights at the bottom of them mean that they are they've, they've completed the cycle they can't output anything because there, there just isn't there isn't anywhere to output to so oh that pro no that just means the gas condensates tank is full that's why they've stopped ah. right so though this has stopped because this tank here is full and that just means this one is going to drain, as you can see, quite quickly um, into the next stage of the system. So I'm going to need to put in... I'm going to need to do something with these gas condensates. That is definitely something to worry about in a future episode. Uh, for now, I think I've, I've achieved... I feel like I've achieved something very worthwhile here. I've, um, I've actually got the, the plastic being produced. Granted, very, very slowly, but the theory is there and correct. And it just needs ramping up and the ratio is getting correct and so on so yeah i think this is this is a great place to stop the episode thank you for watching see you next time